Hello everybody, this is Kim Hamer and today I'd like to share with you an example of a brand that has created a fantastic customer first legacy. A couple of weeks ago I went to the Dior exhibition at the v &A Museum in London and this Dior Designer of Dreams exhibition showcases 72 years of this iconic fashion brand. Dior launched his first collection in 1947. Now his whole purpose was to celebrate women, but two years after the end of the Second World War, it seemed that women in turn want to be celebrated right back. Um, we're forced to deal with austerity and they were interested in looking glamorous and feeling womanly again. So in 1947, Dior came on the scene and made something of a splash. Perhaps his best known silhouette is the bar suit, and this was part of his uh, inaugural collection in 1947. And this is the, the suit that has the wide shoulders, the nipped in waist, and the really wide voluminous skirt. It felt feminine, it felt womanly, and it made a statement, it made an impact, and that was what women were looking for. Dior was only at the helm of his brand for 10 years. He actually died in 1957. And since then, there have been six other creative directors. Yves Saint Laurent took the reins for just three years. And then five further directors, uh, Marc Bolan, John Galliano, Gianfranco Fieri, Raph Simon, and Maria Grazia Ciuri have been at the helm of Dior ever since. What's really interesting is that Mark Bolan and John Galliano actually led the brand between them for 44 years. So Mark Bolan was 29 years of that and John Galliano 15 years of that. So far outlasting the tenure of Christian Dior's original, original 10 years. Why I find that so fascinating is that regardless of all the different fashions and departures that you see in some of the collections, there's something about every collection that retains a Dior essence. The essence of the brand and the woman behind the brand remains the same. Christian Dior's vision was to make women happier and more beautiful. And over the years, we've seen Yves Saint Laurent, who said, it's not about what you're creating, you need to remember that it's about the woman that's wearing it. Um, we have John Galliano, who charged himself with being women's accomplice at helping them get what they want. I think it's really Mark Bolan that summed it up best. He was at the helm for 29 years, the longest stint of any of the creative directors, but such a simple, simple statement, don't forget the woman. And that is what Christian Dior was all about. And I find it extraordinary that for an additional 62 years, that message and that legacy has continued on despite all the changes at the helm and the changes in the world and the changes in fashion. Dior made clothes for the women that he dressed. And in doing so, he created a legacy that was so customer centered that it has actually lived on to be one of the world's most iconic brands. And to be honest, when I left the Dior Designer of Dreams exhibition a couple of weeks ago, I felt much happier and much more beautiful. Thanks for tuning in today. This is Kim Hamer and I'm passionate about customer-led brands and businesses. If you've got any ideas about great customer-led brands or businesses you'd like me to feature, please leave a comment below or get in touch. Have a great day. Bye-bye.